Henson. I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Gladys, do something. Okay. There you go. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? 
You all right? I'm a spirit. Not of the sea. Here comes one now. Amigo. Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured it'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, Never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damn this thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could you take us to the pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine.
I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Hey, Leo! <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Nanny, is that... The Pearl! <gasps> Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Nanny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. Hey, Chepito, go for a swim, will you? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows, so don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. I can't get anywhere near the sub while that monster's guarding it. Hey, I've got more important things on my mind than jewel theory. Not me! Hey, lay off! Hey, lay off! Where are you going? You can't leave me here all alone! Come back here! She's coming back. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. 
by the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. <laughs> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Meche you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> I'm the one who's gonna take Mitch out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. 
Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. W me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. I'm gonna go see about getting us a boat. Ooh, remember to get a fast one so we can water ski, all right? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I'm gonna go see about get... Ooh, remember to get a fast one so we can water ski... thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring.
Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Lissy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative, just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it from me. And think about it, once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double in tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Mecha out of this dungeon. Manny. Before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon, wouldn't you say? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny, we never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Please put that, that. <laughs> okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. Look at my eyebrows. 
relax. We're busting out of here soon. We? We are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust off. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? A gun. Ooh, that's going to cost some. What do you got on you? Turtleneck. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Acrylic? No, it's all natural. Oh, too bad. Natural fibers are so uncomfortable underwater. I know, I know. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Why, I oughta. Hey, Chappy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. <laughs> Stupid. Cold Yo, steel. Yo. Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't, but I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. Da -de da da. Nothing but dark water is that direction. See why they don't give these chisels to the new guys.
Artis. You're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. Easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. a relationship without trust. True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchie, you don't know what you're... I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake thing, boss. I'm gonna... Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Domino! Hey, sport, how's the uh, escape going? What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out, that's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel.
right, Mitchie. You can come out now. Mitchie? So, so sorry. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind? Oh. <laughs> This is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. Thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-in tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-in tickets? I can't reach that high. My scythe. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? is heavy. For you. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Galatis, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. Bring me back. 
back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. I give you one job, Manny! And look at you, already screwing it up! Suppose you realize that this is going to go down on your permanent record. <laughs> this doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Tom. I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. I don't believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen! If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you! <laughs> 